Hi everyone, welcome to another Armour 3 Editor tutorial. This one's on logistics systems, particularly or specifically the R3F logistics system by a French community that was created in 2014. So the uh, logistics system is a script. Uh, it is quite old, um, but it seems to work flawlessly once you've set it up correctly. And before I teach you how to set it up, uh, I'll show you what it does. Firstly, um, you can lift items and move them around. You can load the item into vehicles. So it's now loaded in there. You can view vehicle content and there's the ammo box that I just loaded in there, which I can then unload and place back on the ground. You can also use a couple of vehicles and configure them to be used as uh, equipment um, facilities. So I'll show you how this one works. Um, I've had to use a Hemet uh, because there's nothing else that I can find at the moment big enough to carry the container. And in the container I can go to view the vehicle's content. It's pre-configured with a list of items um, which you can then unload and place down in your mission. Uh, if I'm not happy with the position I can take the item, I can use the C and X keys to rotate the item and then I'm going to release it again. Uh, I can pick it up and move it if I'm not happy with the position and going to go to view the vehicle's content again. We've got a uh, camping table. Unload that. So you get the idea. So it's got uh, a whole heap of stuff in here. Let's set up a bit of a mortar position. There we go. Um, so that's what that one does. The other vehicle, I'll show you what that does. So this is the second vehicle and it features a uh, creation factory. You will get a little error message when opening it up. But here you've got a stack of objects that you can select from uh, and lists of objects. So I'm going to go to um, objects fortifications and I'm going to select, yeah, the sandbag corner. Click on create and then I've got the corner of a sandbag wall, which again you can move around, rotate if you wish and release it and then it will be placed on the ground in your mission. I'm going to go back here and let's go to uh, furniture, whiteboard, yeah let's let's spawn this thing. So pretty much anything that's in there you can uh, place in your mission and it will remain there until destroyed or until you move it. So um, this is not like other systems where you need to uh, maintain the position. It will just uh, remain. Uh, this is uh, a script. It's not a mod. It doesn't require the placement of any modules or anything else in the editor. It is simply a script that you run. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that now. Uh, follow along with me. Uh, it's not that difficult. There's a few little things you need to configure, but uh, let's get into that now. So here's the folder containing the script, R3F Logistics. And we have a few files here. This one here is a PBO. It's actually a mission file. So you can move that to your MP Missions folder in your Armour 3 directory. And then when you open the editor, you can play it as a mission. Um, and that's a tutorial mission, and I highly recommend having a go at that. It is very, very good. Um, it shows you how the system pretty much works. Then this folder here is an extracted uh, folder from the PBO. So this contains everything inside of it that is in the mission PBO file. So we've got the mission SQM, we've got the description EXT, we've got an init.sqf, 
and let's firstly have a look at the description.ext now um, if you're going to uh, use this for a mission that's fine um, but the only things we need to make sure are here are this first line here which is to include it's an include to the r3f log description include file uh, and if you are copying this description ext to put into your own mission um, you need to uncomment or delete the last line because that will run the tutorial if you take the tutorial folder out it will be looking for it because it's here and it will cause you some issues so we don't need to touch that too much other than um, making sure that if you are copying this description.ext you change the author on load name on load mission information your screenshot that you want displayed when you load the mission etc minimum players maximum players etc so let's go back to the folder uh, we have the init.sqf and this is a pretty important one uh, all we need to make sure of is that we have exec vm and in inverted commas r3f underscore log for, uh, backslash init.sqf so that will in initialize the script in your mission again if you're going to copy this to make a your own mission uh, and using this init.sqf um, you need to make sure that this line here is either deleted uh, if you don't want to delete it you can comment it out with a couple of forward slashes okay so that is that stuff inside the r3f log folder we have a uh, bunch of folders and files the only thing we really need to look at to configure this is the add-ons underscore config folder now here we have um, folders armor 3 vanilla all in armor and logistics config maker tool now I haven't played with that at all and in here we have uh, lists of items so inside the vanilla folder we have uh, include lines that refer to air.sqf land vehicle static weapon ship vehicle uh, reamo box and others okay so we don't need to edit anything inside that at all and you remember it referred to air so here we have our air folder now if you want to add uh, a different aircraft other than the standard vanilla ones you would put that in this section here where it has um, r3 logs config can lift okay um, and then items that can be lifted and then items that can transport cargo so here you would put in the class names of the vehicles or helicopters that you wanted to use that can transport cargo and items here that can be transported as cargo and likewise down here items that can be moved by the player now you remember well I haven't actually been to that part yet but here we have uh, the class name of a cargo box that I have added because I want it in the mission to be lifted now to configure the specifics that you want for your mission uh, what I've done is I've just used the r3f addons.sqf and I've edited um, that so if we go into that and have a look you'll see that I've added uh, the class name of a helicopter under the can lift line I've added uh, an ammo box here or a crate that I want to be able to use in the can be lifted section um, and I can probably put that into the can be tra can transport cargo uh, the can transport cargo are the um, aircraft and vehicles that you want to be able to use to transport cargo and this line here refers to transport 
a cargo that can be transported and again I've put that crate in there the class name for it what you can also do if you wish is go to the a3 vanilla um, no incorrect let's not go there uh, the a3 vanilla folder and you can edit these as well now if you're not sure what these lines here mean you can go to your add-ons config folder and have a look at the template.sqf now if you scroll down here it gives you in French and English because it was created by a French community explanations so this section here refers to list of class names of grand vehicles which can tow objects because you can also tow um, with this so uh, here you would add the class names of those vehicles um, then we have the list of class names of objects that can be towed so again the class names of the vehicles that can be towed uh, here we have the list of class names of helicopters which can lift objects and you would use them uh, in there etc and it goes down um, but the format here is different to the format in the actual file so you'll see that we have the call line here an open bracket then we have the variable names sorry the class names of the uh, aircraft um, we have the class names of the items that can transport cargo we have items that can be transported and items that can be moved by the player um, now what I did rather than messing around with those files is I just used the r3f add-ons sqf and I've added the class names in there okay and that will work now in the r3f config config script which is inside the rf3 log folder you need to ensure that this line here which is quite well hidden within the uh, script it starts at line 225 uh, include add-ons config forwards or backslash um, a3 vanilla all in armor and r3f add-ons and it also includes a line here that says your additional add-on dot sqf so you can create a custom sqf with all of the class names that you want to use and it works with any mods um, it works in single player and dedicated servers for co-op games so provided you have those lines included and you'll see that it has r3f addons.sqf which in uh, my mission folder in the r3 log and in addons config it has there and they are the ones that I have um, configured now again in the root folder of the mission we have the init.sqf and all this will work simply because we have that first line there for the r3f log init.sqf okay and these are just extra items that I've added to my mission to make this a little bit easier for you is when you've downloaded the script uh, and this is what I did um, I've gone into the logistics 3.1 tutorial and I have copied all of this except for the mission SQM and I have dragged it over into my mission folder okay so everything there that I need is dragged over into the mission folder and there we go into r3f log add-ons config um, I've used the 
R3F add-ons SQF to put my items in and then obviously save to that uh, it uh, works I've ensured that in my mission folder my init.sqf includes this line uh, also any other SQF files you want to execute when the mission starts I've ensured that my description ext is pretty much the same as the one in the script file ensuring that it includes that line at the top there uh, and for configuration um, I've used all of these files in here and there's a lot of other uh, files in here that I have not played with um, I'll have a look quickly at the config creation factory and okay yeah that's pretty much got uh, explanations in it if you want to edit the items inside uh, the factory that you're able to actually uh, place now there is another file in here that relates to No, that's not it. Relates to the items in the first vehicle that I showed you. So once you follow these instructions, it should all work. Um, again, uh, I'd only recommend, uh, unless you know what you're doing with SQF scripts, only editing the r3f addons.sqf and adding the items that you want to be able to lift, the aircraft that you want to be able to lift items, uh, and things that you can transport as cargo, and things that can be moved as the player. Um, if you play with any of the other scripts, I can't guarantee you're not going to break something because if you leave out a comma or a semicolon or anything minor like that in a script like this, it will break and it won't work. Okay? I really hope this hasn't been too confusing for you uh, because this it is a complex script, uh, but once you've got it set up, it works beautifully without any issues. You can do what you need to do with these uh, supplies in the field and muck around with building fobs or whatever that you want to do. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I'll put the link for the description, uh, link for the script in the description, um, as well as the link for our Discord if you want to come ask questions there. Uh, let us know what you think of this video. Um, have I confused you? Is there more information that you need, or would you like some extra help? Let me know, and uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.